Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Glad you made it today. Today I wanted to talk to you about some uh, exciting news that uh, came out of the VA, not regarding disability benefits, but regarding assisting disabled veterans participate in uh, adaptive type sports. So I just wanted to read through the article here. It just came out a couple days ago and uh, it's pretty short. So uh, please hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend. That helps push out the information uh, so it can land in the hands of those that need it, right? So you might not be somebody who's specifically interested in adaptive sports, but guess what? One of our brothers or sisters is, and they need to know that this exists and that uh, they can find it hopefully in their state. Uh, so with that, I'm going to kind of go ahead and read through here. Uh, VA to award $16 million in grants to help veterans and service members with disabilities participate in adaptive sports. So, headline, good, like it so far. Washington, hyphen, today, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and again, this was just a couple days ago, uh, today, the Department of Veterans Affairs announced the availability of nearly $16 million in grants to qualifying organizations, so most likely nonprofits, um, or veteran serving organizations to help more than 13,000 veterans and service members with disabilities participate in adaptive sports. This funding will help these organizations plan, develop, manage, and implement a variety of sports uh, and different types of uh, therapy activities, including life improving programs for veterans and training for providers. Uh, more information about these grants can be found uh, in the two Notices of Funding Availability. So uh, the NFA, Notice of Funding Availability. So in all of that, what I'm hearing is even if an organization is not already providing uh, adaptive sports to veterans, uh, this is an ability for them to ask for grant funding and then hire somebody, train that person, and then bring that program in. Now, there's two sides of the fence, right? So it's like, oh, well, all this money is going to be going to training people and paying for employees and, and paying to get the program up and running. So, yes, that's one way to look at it. Um, the other way to look at it is it might be being brought into a state or geographic area that it doesn't exist today. And there may be 15 veterans in that area that would absolutely benefit from having something like that, right? So for a second, imagine if you're not somebody who would uh, participate in this. Imagine if you were stuck at home, you didn't have the ability, this is a great way to, to you know, get some more camaraderie and, and be around, you know, um, some other brothers and sisters, right? And uh, do something uh, that, that's exciting and fun and, and you feel like you're doing something. So anyway, that's my little kind of both sides of the soapbox there. Um, and, and, you know, I, I tend to think both ways and you know usually I'll land somewhere in the middle with how things go. Anyway, moving on. Again, this is pretty short. Adaptive sports are competitive and recreational sports and activities customized to fit the needs of persons with disabilities including uh, para Okay. They they hyphenated. Paralympic sports, archery, cycling, skiing, hunting, rock climbing and skydiving. I, I do about four of those anyway. Uh, these activities allow veterans uh, to rehabilitate through recreation and encourage an active and fit lifestyle. So, you know, if something happens and you're trying to, you know, get back into, you know, being more mobile, you know, you need that encouragement. You need something to do. You need something fun, right? No, nobody wants to go to, to physical therapy every day and, and, you know, that's the only thing you do. It gets a little dry. So doing this type of stuff is, is uh, important, I believe. Um, let's go on. A couple quotes here. Adaptive sports improves veterans' physical and mental health, said VA Director of National Veterans Sports Programs. I didn't even know they had a national sports programs. So good information. So VA Director of National Veterans Sport Programs and Special Events uh, these VA grants will ensure that veterans with disabilities have access to sports and activities that build independence, well-being, and quality of life. All those things, very important. Next quote is, uh, without the VA Adaptive Sport Grant Program, I never would have believed that I could ski with my disabilities, said U.S. Army veteran and retired infantry sniper, um, Landon Ranker. This program opened new doors for me 
in that in that way and okay geez one take jake right all right this program opened new doors for me in that way and allowed me to be a part of an active and athletic world that i never thought possible so super great in 2022, VA awarded 16 million in adaptive sports grants to 108 organizations headquartered in 32 states and the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. VA has awarded a total of 100 million in adaptive sports grants in the last eight years to improve veterans' well-being and independence. So, Obviously, there's, they're putting investment into this over the past eight years, and they're probably going to continue to do so, right? So to be eligible for a grant, an organization must be a non-federal entity with significant experience in managing a, a large-scale adaptive sports program. Oh, so that gets rid of my first thought. So must have um, significant experience in managing a large-scale adaptive sports program for persons with disabilities. That's good. Applications must be submitted online at grants.gov by 3 p.m. Eastern Time, April 11th, 2023. VA will announce award decisions this fall based on a competitive selection. Details of the notice of funding available include frequently asked questions and additional information can be viewed at, and they put a link. And that's pretty much it. So the, the big point here, um, I think, and the whole reason why I even share this, if you're still hanging on, is because I think it's important to know where money is being spent for the betterment, whether we agree with where it's being spent or not, it's being spent. I believe this is a great uh way to spend money um but it's only great if it's being utilized right so we as a veteran community owe it to each other to help get the word out to the others of us and if we know folks that would benefit uh encourage right uh each other to participate in this type of stuff you know just go check it out right everybody gets a little bit weird about you know something new you know putting yourself out there all that type of stuff but you and i know that when a veteran meets another veteran, it takes two seconds, two seconds, and you're done with all that. And next thing you know, you're just you're BSing about all kinds of things, and you know your different experience, and you know compares and contrasts, and you know whatever the Marine Corps versus the Army or the, you know whatever, right? So, um, you know, putting yourself out there is different if you're putting yourself out there in a veteran specific type of uh, format, which that's what this is. So, in any case. I appreciate everybody. I'm glad you're hanging in there. And hey, remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.